It's alive, it's alive. What's up, guys? This is Bradley Sutton from Helium 10. Today's pro training is on Frankenstein, all right? If you didn't get the reference there, it's alive. Anyways, um, let's talk about how to use Frankenstein with some of our other tools, such as Scribbles and Index Checker. Now, the intro to the Scribbles video shows you, you know, how I like to use uh, Scribbles. In first, I import to Scribbles like ten uh, phrases that I know I want to get in phrase form into Scribbles. Okay, so like let's say it's maple syrup, grade A, all all these, right? But now the rest of the words, I just want to make sure that it's in my listing. Okay, so what I could do is I could say remove duplicates. All right, um, I'm not going to maintain the phrases. I just want one word or phrase per line. Okay, so now it took the 712 words, took out all the duplicates, and now it's 144. Okay, so the next thing I want, and then this is important that you do one word or phrase per line. Otherwise, Scribbles uh, thinks that you want to rank the whole or things that you want to include the whole entire phrase. As you notice, there are some things in here like A and B and C. Probably somewhere in here it says vitamin A or vitamin B or something like that. You don't want those. You don't care about that. So I'm going to say remove single letters. And uh, I'm going to say remove common words. Okay. Um, okay, there we go. So now I remove the common words. So now it took it down to 135 keywords. So now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to hit export to scribbles because I already have a scribble session open right here. Okay. So I'm going to hit copy. That copies everything in here. And then I'm just going to paste it here. Okay. So now each and every one of those is now in scribbles. And then from here, I could see, hey, these are the phrases that I wanted to do. And these are the individual words that came from there. All right. What would have happened, which is totally fine if you want to do this, if you copy the entire thing, let's say if I maintain the phrases, okay, here's all the phrases now. And then I hit scribbles. What it does is, which again, it's totally cool if this is the way you want to do things, it's going to put every single phrase in here. And then once I hit apply, it's going to put out all the individual words and it'll have all of the total phrases here. Totally great. Another way to use Frankenstein and scribbles. The other tool that we want to use is index checker. So let me go ahead and open up index checker. Index checker checks if you're able to be searched for a certain keyword within Amazon. All right. So let's say I am going to, um, let me see. I'm going to look for a certain, I think I have one here in my keyword tracker. So let me copy this ASIN first of all. So I'm here in my keyword tracker and there was a maple syrup right here. I'm going to copy this maple syrup. Okay. I'm going to go to index checker and I'm just curious. This is, let's just say this is my listing. All right. And I have all of these keywords that I determined was relevant to my listing. Okay. So now how would I do it? I would do almost the exact same thing here. I want to make sure each and every phrase is here. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to say one word or phrase per line, remove duplicates, maintain phrases, remove common words. And um, I'm going to take away, remove single words, that one. Okay. Now let's go ahead and copy this and I'm going to paste it into index checker. All right. Now what this is going to do Again, this is important. The super important is that you put one phrase per line, all right, so that it checks each and every one. So now what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and check if I am indexed for all those phrases. Now, what if I didn't care about the full phrases or maybe I found some in here that I am not indexed for? Like, for example, maple syrup light. Well, then what I would do is I would take this out. Okay. I'll take out all these keywords. Like there's a whole bunch of keywords that I'm not indexed for. Right. So I would take out all these, copy them. I would put it back into Frankenstein, but then I would just say, I want to find out what individual words, like obviously there's a reason maybe I am not indexed. What are the individual words that are making me not indexed? All right. So let's just pretend I'm going to do that here. I'm going to take away maintain phrases. Again, I just have this list of single words here. So then I'm going to find out, okay, so here in index checker, I had found that, you know, maple syrup light, I am not indexed for. All right. So which word in here don't I have in my listing that's, um, that's making, or that's I'm unindexed for that's resulting in this. Okay. So now I can go ahead right here and paste all of the words individually, one per line right now on an individual keyword level, I am going to be able to see which ones I'm indexed for and which ones I'm not like, do you remember that one? I just showed you maple syrup light. Look at that right here. Light is not indexed, but maple and syrup are. 
So you see how powerful that is? You might, you don't want to put a whole entire phrase back into your listing sometimes, especially if you're cramped for space. You just want to find out, hey, what is the one word that is causing me to not be indexed for this entire phrase? There you go. It's light. All right, guys. So there you have it. Frankenstein, tons of different ways you can use this, but it works great with scribbles, works great with index checker. Make sure to use both of these, all three of these tools in order to crush it on Amazon. Thanks a lot, guys. What? Yeah.